Progress Show 2022 in Boone, Iowa. My name's Derek Couture. I'm an agronomist for Concept Agritech, and I'm here with a couple gentlemen that you might might have seen before. We've got Chad Henderson and Kelly Garrett from Extreme Ag, and we wanted to take a few minutes to uh, pick their brains and, and see what they've seen this season in the field and uh, what they're looking for heading into har into harvest right now. So I guess maybe I'll start with Chad. Uh, Chad, what's been some of the biggest challenges this spring or this summer for you in, in Alabama? Heat and not enough water. Okay. <laughs> it's been a rough one. We've been in a dry spell down there and had a whole lot of heat. I've learned a lot. I hope I've learned a lot. We'll see when the combines hit, you know, but we've tried a good many products too. Talk about stress mitigation, trying to work on our heat, and, and it's just so much they can do. Guys, they'll talk about stress mitigators. You know, and but it's just so much they can do when you get into that excess heat, and especially nighttime temps. You bet. So, Kelly, let me ask you a question that a lot of farmers might might want to ask: Is uh, is as a farmer, can can I mitigate stress and actually be successful at it? Yes, we uh, we focused on that a lot this year, and what a great year to focus yeah. on it. Yeah. With all the heat we've had, lack of water all across the country, Chad and I and the other members of Extreme Egg have identified products and are using them to mitigate stress. A proper nutritional program, fertility program, is your first step in mitigating stress. But there's other things that we do now to try to even push that further. Yeah, so with Concept Agritech, you know, we're a big technology company. We're trying to bring new, innovative ideas to some of the older chemistries that are out there, like our stress tech technology, yep. uh, our biotech technology. You know, you mentioned a good, healthy, uh, plant we can overcome these stresses more easily. Well, how about um, no different than the human body? You know, I, I relate a lot of things that we do to physiology of the human, or, or, or cattle or livestock for that matter. So, yep. uh, you know, increasing levels of potassium, boron, those things can really help us get through those events. Yep. And, and you know, when we're talking about that, let's don't. When we're talking about it, let's don't think that you're gonna come in here later in the game after corn's up and growing, it's looking good, and then let's just start with that. You know, this is a plan, it's a, Kelly talks about a lot of systematic approach. Don't forget to get your system, get your game plan back when you start with a planter running, and then start this stuff in and knowing what's coming, where you're knowing where your levels, if you will, are gonna fall, and you're ahead of the game. You can't catch up on the stress. So we've got to be getting in front of it for sure. And it isn't always about building and more, more, and more. It's about balance. That's what we have learned. We need to balance the fertility, balance the approach. You know, that's something at Concept Agritech. We hang our hat on the ABCs of agriculture, yep. as we call it. Agronomy, biology, and chemistry. We always want to start with the agronomic side of it. You know, here at the show, I get countless guys coming by saying, you know, well, what, what one product should I use or should I try from you guys? And, you know, I look them straight in the face and say, I really don't know without learning more about your farm. You know, and I think that's a mistake a lot of growers are yep. making. We get that question a lot, and it's a difficult one to answer because, again, it's a systems approach. But, it's again, again, it's what we've done in the last years, you know, a way a farmer's programmed is the way we're programmed. And we just need that, you know, we, we're already doing things, and a lot of times we just need, well, we just need to add one thing in. Mm -hmm. But to understand, like you said, a systematic approach is starting, you know, with, with, with y'all's potash early in the game, maybe trickling some in with a planter and then going into the like, cowboy, like, you know, it's things like that. Starting with K13 in a 2x2 two right. two application and then maybe coming back with the potassium acetate and the foliar K a little later on in the yep. season. So, yep. you know, and that's something that I personally believe in as an agronomist, different forms of nutrients at different <laughs> times of the year are really important. They're very okay? important. Whether that's nitrogen and ammonium, I mean, we know the corn plant prefers ammonium late in the season, yep. you know, simple things like that. 